evening and welcome along to Blackmore Jungle. There are only four teams remaining in the competition, which means we have reached our semi-final stages. We had a draw earlier this week to decide who would meet who, and the lineup for the first semi-final is Colossia on Spirit Nave from Bishoptown and Cork against St. Mary's Secondary School, Eden Derry. We'll meet them in a moment. Everybody's anxious to get started, but first, the prizes. Dictionaries and thesauri, sweatshirts and hoodies, walkmans and ghetto blasters, and for our champions, a video camera and a 17-seater minibus. There it is, the Blackboard Jungle minibus, and the fate of that minibus will be decided in two weeks' time. Now, of course, nobody goes away empty-handed. Our runners-up this evening will get a ghetto blaster for their troubles, and our winners, of course, will qualify for the final of Blackboard Jungle. Just before we meet our teams, let's check in on Einstein to make sure he's in PWO, perfect working order. There he goes, around and round. And he stopped history, so he's in perfect working order. We can meet the teams. On my right, the green team come from Colossia and Spirit Nave and Cork, and their team ca captain is George. How are you, George? Uh, uh, on my left is Desmond Ryan, on my right is Damon Collins. Right, so on the way here, you uh, beat Mullingar in the first round, Carondona in the second round, and Carrigan Shannon in the quarterfinal. Uh, any semi-final nerves? Not really, no. There's sort of the weight of uh, Bishopstown, Cork and Munster on your shoulders. Give them a big round of applause, representing Munster, Colossus, Redney. <laughs> and competing against them from Edenderry at St. Mary's Secondary School and their team captain is Kevin. Welcome back, Kevin. Hi, uh, on my right is Mark Gravel and on my left is Brian McCormack. Now, just uh, mention about your track record. Uh, in the first round, it was Tremor. And then the second round, you beat Roscommon. And a very exciting quarter final match where uh, Bailey Borough just faltered in the last seconds yeah. and you came out Great victorious, course. so well done. You're representing sort of um, Offaly and Kildare, Kildare. Isn't that it? <laughs> and Leinster as well. So good luck to St Mary's Secondary School, Edenderry. <laughs> good luck to all the lads and just before we start I mentioned about the rules, there are six rounds in the competition. Round three is our on the spot specialist round and round six is our rapid fire buzzer round. In the normal rounds, you get two points for a correct answer and one point if you choose to confer with your teammates. Okay? At the end of each round, you get the option of an honours question. We'll talk about that when we get there. So it's time to start the very first semi-final of Blackboard Jungle. We go to Einstein to make his category selection for Colossus John Spirit Nave in Cork. What's it going to be? History it is. History it is. So, Damien, or Desmond, I should say, you have the pleasure of answering the, the first question in the semi-final. Here it is. In 1952, King Farouk abdicated as leader of which African country? Confer. Confer for one point. Egypt. Egypt is correct for one point. Your second history question. In which year did the First World War begin? 1914. It's correct. Two points. Well done. Damien, down at the end, your two history questions. How many paces made up a Roman mile? A thousand. It's correct. For two points. Your second history question. Who was the flamboyant leader of the Mirror Group who died in mysterious circumstances near Tenerife last year? Robert Maxwell. It's correct. For two points. Well done. George, team captain, two history questions for you. Mossad is the name given to the Secret Service of which country? Confer. Confer for one point. Israel. Israel is correct. And your second history question. Which government post was held by both Mary O'Rourke and Noel Davern during 1991? Confer. Confer for one point. Education. Education is correct for one point. So at the end of that round, I can offer you the option of an honours question. Okay, just a couple of things about the honours question. The points awarded for an honours question are the same as the round number, so one point for round one and so on. The team may confer, but if they get it wrong, the points are deducted. So will you take the option of an honours question? You will. You will. Right. Your first honours question for one point. Here it is. Who is the current Attorney General of Ireland? For one point. Whelan. It's correct. For Harry Whelan. Well done. So at the end of round one, Bishop's down around ten points. <laughs> Very good start by Bishopstown. We go to Einstein, see what he has in store for the lads from St. Mary's Secondary School in Edenderry. What is it going to be? Geography. Geography. Right, Mark, two questions on geography for you. Which South American country is named after an Italian city? Confer. Conferring for one point. 
Venezuela. It's correct. It's named after Venice. Your second geography question. On which river does the city of Waterford stand? Confer. Conferring for one. Sure. Sure is correct. Down the end to Brian. Two geography questions for you. What is the highest mountain in Africa? Kilimanjaro. It's correct. It's uh, 19,340 feet for your information. Your second geography question. Uh, the Cruzeiro is the main unit of currency in which South American country? Confer. Conferring for one. The Cruzeiro, the currency of which South American country? Chile. Sorry? Chile. No, it's actually Brazil. No points on that one. Kevin. Two geography questions for you. Which American state has Jackson as its capital? Um, confer. Conferring for one. Jackson as its capital. Which American state? Need an answer? Missouri. No, it's Mississippi. 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 Your second question. A car bearing the registration letters KE comes from which Irish county? Kildare. Kildare is correct for two points. Shot if you didn't get that one. Right, at the end of round one, will you take the option of an honours question for one point? Yeah. You will. Okay. Here's your honours question for one point. It's a visual one, so have a look in your little telly there. That's um, Albert Reynolds. It should be Al Re Albert Reynolds. It is Albert Reynolds. The question is, of which county is he a native? Longford. No, it's actually County West Common from Ruskin County West Common. So one point deducted at the end of round one. Eden Derry on five points. <laughs> so as we enter round two, it's Bishop Down on ten and Eden Derry on five. And we go to Einstein again to make his category selection for Colossal and Spirit Nave. Bishop Down in Cork. What is it? Music and entertainment. Music and entertainment. Desmond, two questions for you on music and entertainment. By what collective name? are the TV actresses Beatrice Arthur, Betty White, Lou McClanahan, and Estelle Getty better known? Golden Girls. Is correct. Uh, your second question. Who directed the controversial hit movie JFK? Oliver Stone. Is correct for two points. Well done. Damien, down at the end. Two music and entertainment questions for you. Which Irish artist had a huge worldwide success with the album Shepherd Moons? Confirm. Conferring for one, Shepherd Moons, was it? Enya. Enya is correct. Your second question. Fidelio was the only opera by which great composer? Confer. Conferring for one, Fidelio, an opera by which famous composer? Need an answer? Wagner. No, it was actually Beethoven. George, two music and entertainment questions for you. Sylvester Stallone played the character of Rambo in three films. What I want to know is Rambo's Christian name. John. John is correct, John Rambo. And your second question, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2 provided a lengthy 1991 comeback for which heavy rock band? Guns N' Roses. Is correct, for two points. So at the end of round two, will you take the option of an honours question for two points? We will. You will. Here it is, for two points. For what reason did the town of Ballinspittle, County Cork, make world headlines in 1985? The moving statue. Is correct. That's the look of the draw. So at the end of round two, Bishop's down around 21 points. Yeah. Okay, we go to Einstein again to make his second round selection for the lads from St. Mary's Secondary School in Edenderry. What will it be? Sport. Mark smiles to himself. Sport down at the back. Right, Mark, two questions for you on sport. Which Irish soccer international is the subject of the best-selling video, The Will to Win? Confer. Conferring for one. The Will to Win features which Irish soccer international? Frank Stapleton. No, it's actually Niall Quinn. Your second sports question. The Americans call this game tic-tac-toe. What do we call it? Nots and crosses. It's correct. Two points. Well done. Brian, down at the end. Which legendary Kerry Gaelic footballer was known as the man from Valencia? The man from Valencia. Confer. Conferring for one. 
curry footballer known as the man from Valencia? O'Connell. O'Connell. That too? Yeah. Smig O'Connell. Well done. Your second question. Which League of Ireland side play at the Ivy Grounds? Um, Bray Wanderers. No, it's actually St. St. James's Gate. Uh, team captain Kevin, two sports questions for you. Which country won the 1991 World Cup? Rugby World Cup, sorry about that. The 1991 w Rugby World Cup. Australia. Is correct. They beat England in the final. Your second question. How many white squares on a chessboard are not covered by a piece at the start of a game? Confer. Conferring for one. How many white squares on a chessboard are not covered by a piece at the start of a game? 16. It's correct. For one point. Well done. So at the end of round two, will you take the option of an honours question? Yeah. You will, for two points. Here's your honours question. It happens to be a visual one again. Take a look in your tellies there. Priscilla Presley, that is, the widow of Elvis. Uh, in which spoof police movies did she co-star as Lieutenant Frank Drebin's girlfriend? The Naked Gun. Yeah, Naked Gun and Naked Gun Two and a Half. So at the end of that round, Eden Derry bring their score up to 13. Yeah. Well done. So it's Bishop's down on 21 and Eden Derry on 13. Next up is our specialist round. Each team puts one person on the spot. First we go over to Colossian on Spirit and Avon, their team captain George. Who are you putting on the spot? Desmond. Desmond. Right, I have your track record in front of me. It's geography again, is it? And uh, it goes like this. Four in the first round, five in the second round, and five in the quarterfinal. So do you hope to better that or? Hopefully. Yeah, you'd be satisfied with five. We don't get many sixes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, put your hands together for Desmond taking on geography. <laughs> Of course, we go to Eden Derry, their team captain Kevin. Who are you putting on the spot? Uh, we're going to put Mark on the spot. Mark, and your chosen category? Sport. Sport, and it was five in the first round. You got five out of six, five out of six in the second round, and then two out of six in the quarterfinal. So what do you hope to do? Hope to better two. Hope to better two, <laughs> right. Put your hands together for Mark taking on Sport for St. Mary's second <laughs> stroke. So back we go over to Bishopstown. Uh, Desmond's on the spot, sitting comfortably. Six questions for you on geography. Question number one. The Tay is the longest river in which country? The Tay. Scotland. Scotland is correct. Second question. What is the capital of Romania? Bucharest. Is correct. Third question. In which county is Clare Galway? Mayo. No, it's actually in Galway. Question number four. On, excuse me. On which sea does the popular Italian holiday resort of Rimini lie? The Adriatic. Is correct. Question number five. Which famous harbour is, is on the island of Oha Oahu? Sorry, I'll say that again. Which famous harbour is on the island of Oahu? Pearl Harbour. Is correct. And your final question. In which county is Connor Castle? Cork. Cork is correct. So that's five out of six, is it? Which brings your team score up to 31. <laughs> Well done. Over we go to Eden Derry. On the spot for them is Mark. His chosen category is sport. Six questions for you, Mark, on sport, starting with this one. Who captained the English rugby team to their second consecutive Grand Slam victory in 1992? Will Carling. Is correct. Which English club do Republic of Ireland internationals David Kelly and Kevin Sheedy play for? Newcastle United. Is correct. Third question. Which county did the legendary hurler Eddie Kerr play for? Cork. It was actually Kilkenny. Your fourth question. Which player made a record 700th appearance for Arsenal in March of 1992? Dave O'Leary. Is correct. Your fifth question. How many balls are used in the game of billiards? Three. Is correct. And your final question. Who was the last English woman to win a singles final at Wimbledon? Virginia Wade. Is correct. In 1977. So that's five out of six. Well done. Bring an Eden Day score to 23. <laughs> So well done to both on the spot people. As we go into round four, it's Bishoptown on 31 and Eden Derry on 23. We go to Eden Derry, or we go to Einstein, I should say, to make his category selection for Colossian on Spirit Nave in Cork. What will it be? Geography. Right, Desmond, you've done very well on the on the spot. Let's see how you can do on these two geography questions. 
In which English county would you find the towns of Truro, Falmouth, and Penzance? Cornwall. Is correct for two points. Uh, with, sorry, which African country has the city of Accra as its capital? Accra. Ivory Coast. It's actually Ghana. Down the end um, to Damien. Two questions for you on geography. The Lev is the unit of currency in which Eastern European country? Confer. Conferring for one. The Lev. Romania. It's actually Bulgaria. Your second geography question. Which is the longest river in Italy? Confer. Conferring for one. Po. It's correct. Team Captain George, two geography questions for you. In which American state would you find the cities of Orlando, Tampa, and Palm Beach? Florida. It's correct for two points. And your second question, with which Irish town do you associate the Hawkswell Theatre Company? Confer. Conferring for one. The Hawkswell Theatre Company, which town? Need an answer? Sligo. Sligo. Sligo it is. So at the end of that round, uh, you're on 36, Eden Derry on 23. Will you take the option of an honours question? Remember, there are four points at stake. If you get the question wrong, four points will be deducted from your score. We will. You will. Very brave. Here's your honours question for four points. Barry McGuigan lost his world title in 1986 in Las Vegas. Who beat him? Steve Cruz. It's correct for four points. Well done. So that brings Bishop's down score up to 40. And in round four, we go to Einstein to make his category selection for Eden Derry. What would it be? Any preferences? Not history. Not history. <laughs> right, Mark, two history questions for you. What was the name of the lieutenant who led the mutiny on the HMS Bounty? Confer. HMS Bounty, who led the mutiny? Conferring for one point. Fletcher Christian. It's correct for one point. Your second question. Which Irish youth organisation was established by Father Farrell in 1927? Confer. Conferring for one point. Father Farrell established which Irish youth organisation in 1927? Anoiga. No, it was actually the Catholic Boy Scouts of Ireland. Down the end to Brian. Two questions to you on history. In which medieval Eng English war were the houses of York and Lancaster on opposing sides. And the War of the Roses. Is correct. For two points. Your second question. The infamous dictators Papa Doc and Baby Doc Duvalier ruled which Caribbean country? Haiti. Haiti is correct. Well done. Uh, Team Captain Kevin, two history questions for you. Uh, Vaslev Havel is the president of which Eastern European country? Could you repeat it, please? Vaslev Havel is the president of which Eastern European country? Czechoslovakia. Is correct, for two points. And your second question, the Battle of Klantar took place in 1014, but on which holy day did it take place? Confer. Conferring for one. On which holy day? Good Friday. Is correct. So at the end of that round, you're on 32 points. Bishops down are on 40. Will you take the option of an honours question? No. You won't. Okay, so at the end of that round, Eden Derry are on 31. So a bit of strategy there from the Eden Derry lads deciding not to go for the honours question. We enter round five and we ask Einstein to make his category selection for the lads from Colossia and Spirit Nave in Bishopstown. History it is. History. There we go. Two questions for Desmond on history. Your first question. In which year did the Titanic sink? Was it 1912, 1913 or 1914? 1912. Is correct for two points. Your second history question. Which prominent international figure did Ali Akba attempt to assassinate in 1981? Ali Akba. Confer. Conferring for one. The Pope. The Pope is correct. Pope jo John Paul II. Down the end to Damien. Two history questions for you. Which British political scandal involved Christine Keeler and Mandy Rhys Davies? Perf perfume affair. Is correct. For two points. Your second question. Uh, which method of execution was first used in France in 1792? 
method of execution. Guillotine. Is correct. Two points. Team Captain George. What was the Christian name of the English king known as the Lionheart? Richard. Is correct. And your second question. In which Cork Harbour did Queen Victoria and Prince Albert land for their visit to Ireland in 1849? Confirm. Sorry for one point. Which Cork Harbour did Queen Victoria and Prince Albert land? Uh, Cove, Queen's Hill. Is correct for one point. So at the end of that round, uh, you're on 50 points. Eden Derry, you're on 31. Will you take the option of an honours question? No. You won't. Okay. Well done to Bishop now at the end of that round, 50 points. <laughs> Round five, we're in, and we go to Einstein to make his category selection for the last meet in Derry. 19 points behind at this stage. It's history. Right, Mark, two questions to you on history. What nationality was the ancient philosopher Confucius? Chinese. Is correct. Two points. Your second question. In which war did the battles of Bull Run and Gettysburg take place? The American War of Independence. The American Civil War. No, I have to take it first. Sorry, it was the American Civil War. Sorry about that. Brian, two questions for you on history. David Duke stood for election as governor of Louisiana in 1991. But of which sinister society is he a former Grand Wizard? Uh, Ku Klux Klan. Is correct. Two points. Your second question. Who would have used the type of lamp invented by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1815? Uh, miners. Is miners. correct. Two points. Well done. Team Captain Kevin, two history questions for you. Which world leader publicly renounced his divinity in 1946? Conferring for one. World leader publicly renounced his divinity in 1946. Need an answer? Um, Churchill? No, it was actually Emperor Hirohito of Japan. And your second question. What name was given to the conflict between England and France, which lasted from 1337 to 1453? Confirm. Conferring for one. The Hunters War. It's correct. So at the end of that round, you're on 38 points. Bishop Sound are on 50. Will you take the option of an honours question for five points? A bit of debating going on in the Eden Derry camp. Need an answer, lads? Can you go for it? Yeah. You're going to go for it. Well done. Deserve a round of applause for that anyway. Yeah. Very brave. Yeah. Right. Here it is, your five-point honours question. Lady Chatterley's Lover and Sons and Lovers are works by which controversial English author? For five points. Um, T.H. Lawrence. It's correct. Well done. Yeah. Next up is our final round. It's our rapid fire buzzer round. Right, exciting times. Let's have a quick look at the scores. Bishopstown are on 50, but uh, Eden, Eden Derry have made up a lot there. Only seven points behind on 43. A couple of things to remember about our rapid fire buzzer round. It's two points for a correct answer. If you buzz and answer incorrectly or fail to answer, one point will be deducted from your score. Okay, we'll ask questions till we hear the bell. Which current Minister of State has responsibility for women's affairs? Tom Kidd. Derry. Tom, Tom Kidd is correct. Which actor played the lead role in the films Hudson's Hawk and The Last Boy Scout? Bruce Bishop Willis. Town. Bruce Willis is correct. What's 20% of 185? Bishop Town. Sorry, need 37. Need an answer. Which broadcaster presented the long-running RTE quiz show Quicksilver? Eden Derry. Bonnie Carr. Is correct. In which European country would you find the city of Bratislava? Bishop's Town. Czechoslovakia. It's correct for two points. The Americans call it kerosene. Cork. Petrol. Mm. Gas. No, paraffin is the answer. One point deducted. Who played the part of lead singer Deco Cup in the film version Eden Derry? Um, Andrew Strong. Andrew Strong. It's correct. Who is the vice president of the United States? Dan Eden Derry. Dan it's correct. Which Spanish club knocked Manchester United out? Uh, Atletico Madrid. It's correct for two points. Which American heavy rock band had a huge hit in 1991 with the single Enter Sandman? Metallica. It's correct. Which Irish city has Sean Kenny as its Lord Mayor? Dublin. Derry. Dublin is correct. There, end of game. up this evening. You're in the lead right until the end, lads. Sorry about that. 
You get for yourselves a get a blaster each. You did very well to qualify for the final four in Blackboard Jungle. Well done to Desmond, George and Damien. <laughs> and congratulations to our victors tonight from St. Mary's Secondary School in Eden Derry. You left it very late, lads. <laughs> you now qualify for the final two and a chance to win that minibus for your school. So we'll see you in two weeks' time. That's Mark, Kevin and Brian. As I said, we'll meet the lads again in two weeks' time in the final. To find out who we meet with them, join us next week when O'Connell's from Dublin take on the Mercy's College from Sligo. See you then, Network 2, Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. See you then. Bye now. Thank you.